Hello everyone, myself Raju Mahato. Uh, there are several frameworks which enables you to make cross-platform mobile application. And Corona is the Corona SDK is the one of them, which gives you an opportunity to make application for different platforms like iOS and Android. So let's go with Corona SDK. As this is my first tutorial on Corona, so let's start with the beginning. Today I will talk about the download and installation of Corona SDK and then we will see some basic things about it. So from where we can get this Corona SDK? Uh, simply going to coronalabs.com. This is the official site for the Corona. Uh, here you can see that a button try it and buy it. If you want to buy the uh, licensed version then you can click on here. And if you want to uh, try the trial version, or not uh, nowadays, not uh, it's not a trial version. Uh, Corona gives you the um, opportunity to make uh, your uh, application, and also you can publish it on their respective market. Like for Android, it goes to the Google, and for iOS, you can push it to the uh, Apple. So if you click on it, you uh, you can download the Corona SDK for uh, Mac machine and for also you can use it for Windows. So just do it. Then if you ins after installation, you can see that this is the Corona simulator that I have already installed. So now click on this. I will show you the thing. So. Now here you have seen that uh, as I have uh, installed the trial version so that's why it comes this pop up so now this is the SDK Corona SDK and this is the console that we will use uh, I will show it uh, on my next uh, tutorial how to use this how to how we can uh, use it uh, to make uh, to uh, use it for optimal so let's uh, begin with that. This is the Corona SDK. Now, uh, after installation, with installation, you can get some sample app. Like, if on click on this, this is the list of sample app for different categories of application like graphics. Here you can see the graphics application, hardware related application, interfaces. So these are the demos that are comes with the uh, Corona SDK. So uh, these are very much useful for the beginner who are begins with uh, from A to the, uh, from start. So you can go through with this and you can get much more. You can capture much more of it. You can utilize it for um, your knowledge and also to make your uh, app. So let's uh, see an application uh, that they have provided. I will show you the physics part on the physics. Yeah. Oh, one thing I have forgot that Corona SDK is best for um, uh, actually, it's um, basically uh, if you use it for making 2D games, it, uh, you can get the much more benefit from it uh, so uh, there is a uh, it's having the physics engine uh, within it so this is a demo app that uh, comes with the corona sdk now if i click on this tap on this screen here you can see that how to uh, do the thing then you can also uh, mm, view your application for different platforms like iPad. How it comes like uh, look like with iPad. Here it looks in iPad. Then also you can see it for different platforms like iPhone, iPad Retina that comes uh, nowadays it uh, comes into the market. iPhone, iPhone 4, iPhone 5. Then for Android, the Droid, Galaxy S3, Galaxy Tab, Nexus, Transition. Even you can also uh, 
check your UI uh, for these different Kindle Fire, Kindle Fire SD. This is the Kindle Fire SD simulator. For different different device, you can check it. Uh, you check it. You uh, check you. You can check your application like here Galaxy Tab. For sensation, you can see this is the simulator for sensation. So that's it. That's it for today. Uh, on my next tutorials, I will come up with uh, the magics of Corona with Loa. Till then, goodbye. Keep coding.